Jets are fucking stupid. Uh, we're going to get into it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk a little bit about Sam Darnold. We're going to talk about, uh, specifically, the Jets getting absolutely fleeced, my guy. Oh, my God, bro. They gave him... They gave, okay, so I'm looking at the trade right now. Trading a 2021 second round... A 2021 sixth rounder, my bad. 2020 second, second rounder and a 2022 fourth rounder. And, and I'm reading an article, even, that, that like... They're like, oh, Sam Darnold doesn't solve your long-term answer. It's like, you're correct. What he makes doesn't... this really funny, too, is that, sorry to interrupt, is no. that this was their first round pick. Third overall. Third overall. Third overall. Third overall, overall years, pick. Three years ago. And what did they get back? Second rounder, a fourth and a sixth. So nothing. Yeah, that's nothing. nothing. And guess what? They're probably going to do the exact same thing again. Oh, yeah, absolutely. When they get Zach Wilson? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, dude, here's my fucking thing, bro. This is the thing that bothered me about it. It's like, bro... The Panthers are smart. Panthers are smart. You gave up. Like, here's the thing: is the second rounder is the only thing in my that even matters to me. Like that you gave up a second rounder. But at the end of the day, if he's good, there, there's some stock. With yeah, that. yeah, yeah. If he's set, yeah. good, it won't matter. If he's bad, you lost a second rounder. But here's my thing: is like we've seen plenty from Sam Darnold that is that that clearly he has. I mean, everyone knows he has potential. He's a third overall pick. He went to USC. He's really good there. But the biggest thing for me is like he's made some plays where like. Dude, that guy has talent, like actual playmaking ability, ta- like straight talent, bro. And like, bro, he's stuck with Adam Gase for his whole fucking career. And you're like, oh, well, it, Todd Bowles, I think, one year. But and you're like, oh, yeah, bro. Like, oh, he just clearly isn't a good quarterback. It's like, bro, like, anyone he's that plays, Anyone that plays for Adam Gase deserves a second chance. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, bro, he's 23. Yeah, and I, you know, you could draw the comparison to Tannehill as well. Yeah, bro, when I was 23, I was like two years out of rehab. And fucking, my life was a fucking mess, dude. <laughs> Literally, I'm not even lying. Literally, out of fucking rehab, look like a fucking idiot. And they're like, yeah, this guy Sam Draw just can't figure it out. It's like, bro, he's 23. Dude, I mean, he's dude, we're, we're 26 and we're still idiots. Yeah, I mean, I'm 26. And yeah, I, like, yeah, not idiots. even close to as well put together as Sam Darnold. Mm-hmm. Not even Absolutely. close, bro. Absolutely. Yeah, so bro. Good, good for Sam Darnold. And I went to the Catholic far. school. Pub, Sam Darnold went to the public school down the street from us. So Yeah. We, like, and we beat them fuck, in high school football, too. Yeah, we... Fun fact. Absolutely slammed yeah. them, bro. The fucking... Yeah, that was awesome. Private. And so, uh, um, but if I'm a... It per, I mean, obviously, if I'm a Panthers fan, uh, you know, they were definitely so, expecting, you know, the, the whole, there's the whole Russell Wilson thing, Stafford, and Deshaun Watson, you know, we'll see what yeah. happens with that. <laughs> yeah, um, I wouldn't touch that with a pole. Yeah, I'm not going to touch that one. And so, uh, but I don't hate this if I'm a Panthers fan. No, why would you? Why would you? You're I don't like, hate this. Like, what are you expecting to get out of the second round here? Like, the best quarterback of all time? Like, no? Okay, then shut the fuck up. Like, no, it's not going to happen. Dude, here's my thing. is like, oh, we're going to put second round for Sam Darnold. It's like, bro, people that don't actually watch football, don't study football, don't actually watch the games go, oh, I've heard this guy saying Sam Darnold is bad, so Sam Darnold equal bad. It's like, bro, you're <laughs> fucking mongoloid, dude. What the fuck? Like, Some watch troll. a fucking football game, dude. It's insane to me that everyone thrashed these guys. They're like, this guy sucks. This guy sucks. This guy sucks. It's like, okay, okay. It, like, everyone, Tannehill sucks. Tannehill sucks. And then it's like, oh, crazy. Tannehill threw 22 touchdowns to like four fucking I, I, I mean, those are people that we like to call armchair coaches. Armchair coaches, exactly. Literally. It's like when they say family guy and the family guy, they're like, fam, I'm a family guy. And then they look at the kid. <laughs> Thing is, I just think people don't realize how clever that actually is. Yeah, it's fucking hilarious. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, dude, my whole thing is like, with Sam Darnold, with everything, okay, so clearly, here's what it says about the trade. Carolina wants someone now. They definitely don't believe in Teddy, and Jets are taking a quarterback with a second-round pick. Even Joe Douglas, the GM, literally said, yeah, that's a pretty fair observation. Said that. Dude, this is the first draft where, like, GMs are like, this is who we're taking. Like, the other day, Urban Meyer's like, I mean, yeah, that's probably where we're going. It's like, dude, no GM in the world would say that two years ago. No fucking way, dude. Why do you think that is? I, there's, I mean, they're like, hold their cards tight. They're like, yeah, like, I, I mean, maybe I'll get a trade. Maybe. Yeah, but I'm think, just curious what, what, what's changed that might have caused that. I think coaches are realizing that, like, draft capital is jack shit if you're not picking good players. Like, it doesn't, literally does not mean anything. They're like, all oh, first point. rounder. It's like, bro, I know tons of first rounders that fucking suck. Like, tons of them, dude. Like, do you know who Gabe Creamy is? Ryan Leaf. You know Gabe Creamy is? No. Exactly. Actually, that does sound like, did he go to UCLA by any chance? No. Okay, yeah. It, uh, that name... In a way, it does sound familiar. Was he he played for the Bears. Yeah, he sucked. Okay, got you. Uh, how about like, let's put this way, Danny Watkins. You know who Danny Watkins is? Not a, yeah, not he's a, a firefighter in Austin, Texas now. So, first round pick, 2011. 
uh, you know, admirable job, but absolutely you know, not NFL, a good football player. The NFL whatsoever. did not fucking work out though, bro. There are so many first round, like like most first rounders don't live up to their status. Like most, like if if we're talking about like Pro Bowls, talking about like like that's what you expect out of a first rounder, right? You expect an immediate starter and you expect Pro Bowls. Unless you're taking a quarterback, you're like, oh, this guy needs to develop. Fine, whatever. Like, but a first he, rounder, you're expecting for them to come in and make an impact probably immediately. Yeah. Unless they're a quarterback, that's kind of the one exception. Yeah, but and I, if and, you're if you're a receiver or running back, oh yeah. Yeah, you're gonna be getting reps if you're a first rounder. Oh, facts like yeah. facts. That's why when corners, player- corners, they, they the teams intentionally seek young guys out there because absolutely. they're the fastest. Yeah, absolutely, they're the fastest. And, uh, and on top of that, you can develop them. And so, like, if you're, they're like, hey, this guy, a has to be good right away. You have to like, you have to have some like, you can't just be a complete project. It doesn't work that way. Like, you have to have some talent. You know what I mean? Like, they can't be like, oh, this guy's just a freak. Take him in the first round. Yeah. That doesn't fucking happen. Yeah, that happens in college a little bit, but it doesn't happen in the NFL. Yeah. The other thing I want... Well, here's kind of my my synopsis of it is the Jets lost this trade, but they also won it um, in the sense that, like, you also, lose it because you didn't give up. You didn't get very much. And, like, don't get me wrong. You weren't going to get a ton for Sam Donald regardless. But you also... But, the, uh, uh, like, that's kind of the lose. But the win is you've cleared the quarterback position for the new rookie. That is a key. Like, you can't have a 23-year-old third overall pick sitting there with a, when you take someone on the second overall. You can't have that. Like, you'd be like, what's up? We're the same age. How you doing, bro? Like, Zach Wilson went to fucking BYU. He's probably older than Sam. He isn't, but he's probably older than Sam Darnold. Yeah, I'm sure he's got, like, a wife and three kids He's 26, yeah. He's had to go do mission trips in Australia or some shit. Like, mm-hmm. he didn't. He's, like, 22. But mm-hmm. still, like... That's young for BYU. Yeah, I say I think Carolina did an absolute great job because you get this guy that maybe has something. If he doesn't, you fucking lose a little bit, but not a ton. I think that they're at least going to be somewhat competitive in the NFC South because the NFC South is not going to be a great. Do you think Sam Darnold goes to the Jets and plays the same way he's been playing? No, exactly. No, so no, that's it. No, you you don't just go back to Adam Gase and play better. Yeah, exactly. And so it, exactly, you know, because you know, like I was saying, everyone that plays, anyone that plays for Adam Gase deserves a second Absolutely. chance. Absolutely, totally. Look what agree. Tannehill did, and totally quite agree. honestly, I think that Tannehill's kind of he has some Alex Smith like qualities where he won't lose you games really, but he's not going to go off. Yeah, Darnold yeah. is more of a gunslinger, you know. And thing is, I think Reminds that he's far uh, in a way he's, just like but, but he's more athletic. Yeah, he's, he's more, more athletic. athletic. He throws just as many picks, though, which is amazing, and I love it. Yeah, it's re- he's fun to watch. And yeah, thing is, is you, you look at him, he's doesn't he's got like this Luca build, yeah. you know, where he just looks pudgy and he runs like a four six. Yeah, he's fucking quick. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense, but you know, he's a big boy, and I, I'm I'm gonna be curious to see you know what him and Robbie Anderson do. You know, they and were DJ Moore, and there's a bunch of guys. Yeah. But at the end of the day, Panthers won this trade, Jets lost this trade. But the one thing I did want to talk about before we end things was that up, aren't shocking yeah, for right. <laughs> 1,000 points. Yeah, it was, it was the, Jets. the Jets lost this trade? Crazy. Um, also, the Jets have traded away their fir- like five. So from 2018 and before, five first round picks have all been traded. Wow. Their first round picks from 2018 and before, the first, those Christ. five have all been traded or cut um, or signed somewhere else. And so, and on top of it, four QBs drafting the top five have. Changed teams this season. Just a dumpster fire of an yeah. organization. But the, the whole thing that I've been reading is that Mac Jones is going to go third overall to the 49ers. That the 49ers gave up two first rounders to get Mac fucking Jones, bro. I uh, is Mac Jones, bro? Like, oh, my God. I hope this happens like so sandwich. bad. This would be amazing for all the people that don't like the Niners. If you're a Niners fan, you should absolutely hate this. Bro, the fact that Justin Fields is going to fall that far. like, Well, no. If you're a Niners fan, you do not like that you're getting Mac Jones. Yeah, no, I know. What upsets me, though, is that Justin Fields just being completely... Like, don't get me wrong. I'm a Michigan State fan. I don't like Ohio State. But if you're watching him, you, he's clearly good. He's clearly... He, he's definitely the second... That, the third best QB prospect in this draft. Like, for sure, in my mind. Like, yeah. it, And he might even be the second best. So, like, why are you going to fuck around and be like Mac Jones? It's like, bro, there's like three QB prospects in front of him. Absolutely. Like, literally. Like, what are you seeing that no one else is seeing? I mean, and also, we got to go back to the Alabama principle, which is just with they receivers... Suck. Well, receivers being wide-ass... Well, fucking open and call. Yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. You know, because when you're thrown to guys like Amari Cooper and Julio Jones. Name me one good one. A- a- that, a- in the McCarron. NFL. AJ McCarron. Yeah. Uh, uh, Greg McElroy. Uh, Tua played whatever last year. I, I, I think Tua is going to be done by Thanksgiving. Really? I Well, I mean, I think that 
I mean, you know, they got him some weapons. They got him Wolf Fuller. So, but, you know, but, but yeah, I think unless if he plays the same way he did last year, super conservatively, it's done. It's over. Bro. Yeah, it's but over. But if he actually decides. That team's too good. Well, yeah. That and team's if, too good to have a shitty quarterback. Yeah, exactly. And if he decides, he's like, you know what, dude, like. And bro, he's probably the best Bama quarterback that's been in the NFL. Oh. Two up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Easily, easily, easily. And that's hilarious. Yeah, easily. Like, Bama, fantastic for literally every other position. Who do you guys, other guys I'm thinking of? Not Brody Croyle. Brody Croyle went to Tennessee. What a Brody Croyle. Yeah, that's wow, one of my guys. Bro, I used to like, back when high school, I used to just like get on like Yahoo Sports and just Google where people, or just like search where people were drafted. I was like, oh, he went to Tennessee and was a third rounder. He must be good. It's like, but I didn't even check to see if he was third string on the fucking depth chart. Like, <laughs> I was like, oh, he sucks. Like, I used to just think like, you're a first rounder, you're good. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of people that yeah. Didn't you guys draft a Sean Robinson or something like Second that? Second round, he's solid though, bro. Yeah, like he just okay. literally Matt Patricia told him that he was gonna ruin yeah. his football career, and Sean was like, Peace. It's, "It's just funny. It's just funny that you guys literally passed up on Michael Thomas and Derrick Henry in that draft, dude. It's that that is nothing compared to the other pass ups, Larry Andre. Jo- oh wait, we didn't. I don't know if we passed up Larry. But I know we passed up Andre Johnson. Oops. Yeah, so we took a wide receiver too. It's not like we took a different position. We took a receiver. And we passed Andre Johnson. We took Charles Rogers. He's fucking dead, bro. Like, <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. That's no, horrible. he's fucking. I shouldn't. Dead. I shouldn't be laughing. That's horrible. But that is look, the most sorry li- that, that you. Most I'm, RIP. I'm but like, dude, the guy literally said, like, they asked him. He's like, bro, I like smoking weed more than I like scoring touchdowns. He said that on TV, bro. This is why I like smoking weed more than I like scoring touchdowns. These these were the Matt Millen years. Weren't oh they? Yeah. yeah. What are you Matt talking Millen about? Years. Of course it was. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, bro. He fucking he's ass, bro. He's garbage. Okay, so circling back to Mac Jones, though. Okay, so I, I have a question for you. What do you see happening? Do you see this being good or bad? I don't think they take Mac Jones. I think everyone's full of shit. Niners. Yeah, I don't think they take Mac Jones. I think it, I'm just reading, like Schefter reported that. I think Rappaport might have reported that. A few guys reported that. And I was like, and Schefter even went as far to say, to, Adam Schefter went as far to say is, for sure the 49ers are taking Mac Jones. It's like, I don't know. Schefter's not exactly always I right. love Shefty. I love Shefty, too. Um, no, I mean, we haven't exactly seen the the line that the, the Niners don't. They're not exactly the most honest, you know, organization. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Like, why? A like, month and a half ago, Jimmy G was their guy. They don't have any integrity there. Integrity. Uh, yeah, they have <laughs> literally <laughs> zero integrity. And on top of that, they also are just fucking liars. Like, <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, that's kind of ties into integrity, but like, it's just like why like dude like here's my thing is like maybe we mac jones gets out there and he's amazing we're like oh shit this is something we didn't see but like for me like dude he wasn't crazy accurate he had several i i saw at least one huge overthrow at his pro day where bill belichick literally walked like was like literally shook his head dude i i I wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt because i think it'd be cool to maybe see one bama quarterback they go to the nfl but i have not seen one mac jones highlight where the receiver wasn't at least five yards from the defender. Bro, he looks like the fraternity president that told you not to do fucking drugs, and then you'd walk in his room and he's doing drugs. That's really accurate. Yeah, it's extremely accurate. That's like, really, that's really, like, really accurate. I was like, you said not to do drugs, so I didn't do drugs. Why are you doing all the drugs? Mm-hmm. You know, because even though, you know, you, for example, like Joe Burrow, you know, Joe Burrow played on a really talented team. But he didn't have the kind of dude. He set that, records. Bro. Yeah. Well, I'll say that Mac Jones did too. Like Mac Jones threw like five thousand yards almost, like or at least over. But which I'll give Mac Jones the benefit of the doubt on that. But like, you know, Devonte Smith and stuff. Yeah. Well, dude, he had four first round picks. Yeah, that helps. Four. That helps a little bit. A lot, dude. Yeah. That helps a little bit. Yeah. So I just think I don't think that the 49ers take Mac Jones. I think they end up taking Justin Fields. And if they do take Mac Jones, they either a see something we don't see or b are dumb. So yeah, and I think that either of those things can be. You know, I could see either the the wow words, holy shit. Okay, I could totally see either of those things happening. Absolutely, for sure, absolutely, hundred percent. Like I, I could see either of those things happening, and I will laugh. I, I'm gonna call a specific friend and laugh in his face. Yeah. <laughs> <Sit down. laughs> All right, show fucking sucks. <laughs>